Hello everyone watching on YouTube, my name, as always, is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome back to Spectrobes. Seems like people on YouTube are really enjoying the series, so I'm glad you are. I didn't think there'd be that many fans of Spectrobes out there, but people are watching and I'm glad. It makes the playthrough that much more fun. You might notice there's a little more time on the playtime now. That's because off screen, I went through and got a lot of minerals. I didn't dig up any extra fossils and I didn't dig up any cubes, because cubes don't really matter. But I digged up a lot of minerals here in Colin to make up for the fact that uh, for a little while I was going around without the ability to get fossils. And also because it'll be less tedious for me to have gotten a bunch off screen so that we can uh, level up Spectrobes faster. Getting my stylus out here. But anyways, hooray, Colin, here we are. So we're going to go around and first we're going to do some uh, fossil excavation. I'm going to talk a bit. Click that. There you go. Uh, while I was grinding out some of these, whatchamacallsits, I came to a realization. It's been a long time since I've played this Spectrobes game, because normally whenever I wanted to play more Spectrobes, I would just play, uh, I would play Origins, because it's my favorite. But as I was grinding out all these minerals off screen, I remembered why I love Spectrobes so much. Because last time we were streaming, I was like, man, the combat is even worse than I remember. I knew it wasn't great, but like, it's pretty not fantastic, at least in this game. But uh, it's, I'm pretty sure it's better in Beyond the Portals, and it's definitely much better in in Origins, without a doubt. But, uh, ooh, excellent. I did that perfectly. Good job, me. But, uh, what the heck was I saying? I, I basically remembered why I love this game. And it's not with, it doesn't have to do with the combat at all. The combat is kind of like, eh, it's there. Which isn't normally how you want your game to go, so other Spectrobe games do it better, definitely. Thankfully. But uh, the main reason I really enjoy this game is because I just love digging up fossils and cubes and minerals. It's honestly, like, it's just something I can do without thinking, and I love doing it. It's great. I don't care about getting 100% on a cube. But, uh... Yeah, so that kind of reminded me why I liked it. I also love the Spectrobes. I love their designs. Do we already have this? I think we already have this, but I'm going to go ahead and dig it up again. But uh, yeah, I kind of just, while I was grinding out those minerals off screen, remembered, yeah, this is why I really enjoy Spectrobes and why I think it's a fun game. So, hey, there we go. I just wanted to say that. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad for a DS game chat. I agree. It's a pretty good game. I think there's a mineral like right around here. Yes, the thing following me is a child Spectrobe. It's the, uh, it's Awa. It's the Awu pod, I think. Each Spectrobe has, like, a, a species name that it kind of follows in all of its evolutions. Anyways, I have a... You can probably tell by my total experience points. I have a lot more EXP than last time. Because I dug up a lot of minerals off screen. But I'll show you all the minerals we have once we go to use them. Yeah, Spectrobe's Origins left a little bit of a cliffhanger. Not a major one, though. You know, it was obvious that they could have gone further with the series if they wanted to, but... They didn't leave out any giant open questions like, oh, this was obviously supposed to happen, but now we can't get to it because there's not another game. You know what I mean? It's pretty good. I'm surprised I keep getting these low-level crystals. We did get one pink one a minute ago, which, uh, the pink defense one. Which was really good. We're getting a lot of green now. When I was, uh, grinding them up off screen, I got quite a few rare ones. Probably because I got so many. Come here. Come here. Give me this beautiful crescent moon. I demand it. There we go. Dibs. Did you have yourself a nice breakfast on this fine day? I don't eat breakfast normally. I used to think that this was just a me thing, but I've learned there are more people on the internet that are like me, so I'm glad to know that it's not just me that has this issue, but like, uh, at least a decent chunk of the populace of the world. When I wake up in the morning, if I eat something, I feel sick. Like, when I wake up in the morning, if I eat, then like, it's not even a matter of it being the morning. It's just whenever I wake up. If I wake up and then I, like, immediately eat something, I feel sick and I feel like I want to throw up. So I just don't eat in the mornings to, to uh, get across that fact. I don't think there's any minerals up there. I'm pretty sure there's some up here in front of this tree. But uh, I don't eat whenever I wake up. I have to be awake for at least, like, two, maybe three hours before I can eat something. Otherwise, I feel sick. Get this out of here. We've gotten so many health uh, crystals. We're, like, not getting anything else. It was mostly just ominous. Yeah. You know. They left it open to where they could do another one, but unfortunately we never got another one. 
Man, I wish we did, though. How great would it be for them to just be like, yo, we're bringing Spectrobes back on the Switch. Yeah, I don't need anything in the mornings. I have to be awake for at least like two or three hours, and normally by then it's time for, uh, I don't need this fossil. It's time for a lunch, so I just eat lunch. Boom. They did come out with another Spectrobes game. Would you play it? Absolutely, I love Spectrobes. I enjoy this series enough that it sold me on it entirely. Anything Spectrobes that gets released, I'm immediately in. I'll at least give it a chance. All right. So this is basically what I did off screen, by the way, which is why I'm doing it now. I just went through this loop and got all the got all the minerals that I could, and then I went back to the ship, and that would reset the minerals. There, are, Yep, there are more right here. We're going to do this, and then we're going to go to the museum to continue the story. And then as soon as we're able to, we're going to go to Nessa and try to get the Danapod. Because I need two of those. Apparently, it's the best Spectro for searching, so I want it to search. And then I'm going to need another one to evolve because I want to get every spectrobe in the game if I can. These pink minerals, by the way, in case you couldn't tell, they're just uh, they're A's instead of B's or C's. They're the next level up in minerals, so they're very good. I think they're the second highest level of mineral, if I'm not mistaken. There's like a purple one that's better than it. I don't need another... I don't need another knife shark. Yeah, it is unfortunate it's owned by Disney. I really wish that the series had just sold better, because then someone would buy the rights from Disney, but no one's going to do that. It's basically like, there's like a 0.00001% chance Spectrobes ever makes a comeback. Ergo, it's like never going to happen. But I can dream, you know? I can dream and hope. What are experience points? Uh... I'm pretty sure someone in chat told me, because I didn't know either, but uh, your excavation experience determines how much damage you do to the uh, the fossil if you accidentally hit it. So, like, the higher level you are, the less likely you are, you are to accidentally break something when you're excavating it. Bow, 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 bow. I believe this right here is the museum that we're looking for. Are there any minerals or anything around here? Yeah, boy. Don't mind if I friggin' do. We're gonna be feeding our Spectrobes good tonight. They're gonna be chowing down. Give me all this defense. Give me that hundo. There we go. Easy hundo. Alright, sick. Alright, museum. Doesn't seem like Rollin as a character would be very interested in museums at all, but, you know, here he is. Oh, why, hello there, magical keystone. You're definitely not plot important at all. A glimmering green stone stands on display in a luxurious glass case. Yes, it does. What's up, guy who's floating on a little thing? This man is so old. Look at his facial hair. How did you get facial hair like that? How does that even happen? You look like an NPP officer. Were you the one who saved the headquarters? We all did. Thanks for asking. Alien creatures attacking the planetary patrol. What is Nanairo coming to? I'm just glad everybody is all right. Let me introduce myself. My name is Webster. I'm the curator of the museum here on Colin. I'm very proud to announce that we are officially open again after our big renovation. Is this the first time you've seen our precious glowing green stone? It's the pride of our museum. We don't know anything about it other than the fact that it's green and it glows and it's a stone, but apparently that's all it takes. It's an incredibly rare find from the ancient ruins on Nessa. Professor Kate believes that it was once part of an interstellar spacecraft used by the ancients. A spacecraft capable of reaching Himuro and Meido, the distant sixth and seventh planets. Sounds completely unbelievable, doesn't it? I'm not sure what to think of such a theory. In fact, most scientists who've heard the theory think it's completely ridiculous. You know, I've seen another stone just like this. However, it was a different color. Young man, surely you aren't claiming to have seen a jewel as rare and precious as this one. Uh, of course not. I'm sorry. I love this track right here. This music whenever Gina starts talking to you, I really like it. Rallin, our strategy session is over. Can you come back to headquarters pretty quick? Roger that, Gina. I'm on my way. Alright, get away from magical flying man. What the heck? Oh, there we go. How long is the stream going for? The normal three hours. 
roughly, you know. I usually go a little over, especially with Spectrobes. I think I will. Just like with Conquest, I always go over with Conquest. Bow, 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 bow. Make our way back over to whatchamacallit. Only thing is you can get Danapod, the best searcher, pretty early on with how Nissa or Nessa is explored. Works for me. The quicker the better, IMO. We can just get that knocked out immediately. It's gonna be pretty annoying having to get two of them though. Hopefully we'll get lucky. It's like a 40% chance to get it to show up, right? 40% isn't that bad. That's nearly a coin flip. I don't think it'll be that difficult for us to get it, if that's the case. Bum, 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 bum. Excavation levels work differently in Beyond the Portals. I know the least about Beyond the Portals because I played it the least. I only beat Beyond the Portals like once, I think. Maybe twice. Reporting for duty, sir. Welcome back. According to Aldos, the massive crawl we saw was a leader type. Its appearance here is a clear indication that crawl have indeed targeted our system. I believe it was a Velokin agent. Whatever that means. They are like scouts for the crawl. Their kind arrive first. Once they appear, the swarm is usually not far behind. Therefore, it seems obvious the crawl will try to establish a nest somewhere in our system. Oh, gee, I wonder where they could put that. Maybe on the sixth or the seventh planet that are far out of reach that we just heard about mere moments ago? That would be wild. From this nest, they will launch their invasion on all of the planets in our system. We must find and exterminate this nest as quickly as possible. Our fate hangs in the balance. The crawl build their nests in very specific environments. We've analyzed the data on all the planets to pinpoint likely locations of the nest. Rollin, listen up. I have some important instructions for you and Gina. I want you to go to Zeba, the fifth planet in the system. When you arrive, make contact with Professor Kate. She is an expert on the ruins there. She recently reported sightings of creatures that must surely be the crawl. But Zeba is covered with magnetic waves. Is our ship capable of making a of cap is our ship capable of making a safe landing there? It was really weird how Rollin made all those weird noises in the middle of a sentence. Leave that to me. I'm gonna apply a demagnetizing coating to the hull. That's just something we have the technology for. Why does our ship not already have that? We're a police patrol thing. Like we patrol all the planets in our system, right? Surely we should already have a ship capable of landing on Zeba. Take care of anything you need to now. I should be finished by the time you get back to the ship. Yeah, sure, whatever. Guess this is just giving me a chance to buy more stuff if I want to before we go, but I don't have the money for it right now. We have to save our money from here on because I stupidly bought those weapons before buying the Corona suit. Those of you who haven't played this game before don't know what I'm talking about, but we're going to get to a point in the game where we have to have that suit or else life is pain. So, you know, we'll deal with that when we get to it. This is not where I was supposed to go. Love Disney, hello, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Reaper King Matt as well, welcome to the stream. Have this on the DS memories, yeah man. Makes me feel like a child again. Beyond the Portals was my most played due to being your first Spectrobes game. Totally fair. It's a good game too. I just prefer Origins the most. There were a lot of games on the Wii that I just played over and over and over again and Origins was one of them. It's weird how wa uh, well, I can't talk. Rollin made a smart sounding sentence. Ah, uh, he has his moments. Yo, let's go down and look at the spectrobes and look at all of these uh, minerals I got off screen. Send so the Discord post is pretty easy to make a run every two to three minutes. 40% is pretty good for it. Yeah, thanks, Raptor. We're gonna try and go there right now if the game will let me. Or it might force me to Zeba. We'll see. All right. Incubator. Who have we got in here? I do like Shark Boy, so I do want to level him up a good bit. And I also really like Rhino Boy, so I want to level up both of these guys. So let's get on that. Yeah, so I got a lot of things. You can see I have some weird looking ones down here, like Amber, where it's uh, both the pyramid and the moon. 
That just means that it raises both HP and, uh, and attack. This one, Garnet, you can see is like, it's pink on one of them, but the other one is black. The black one means that it subtracts stats from attack because it's the pyramid shape, but it gives a lot of boost to the defense one. So, you know, it's very good. Yes, we are going to make all the spectrobes eat their shapes. This purple is the purple is the highest level you can get on uh, minerals. That's what citron is here. So, because these guys, other than Masa, are already at their lowest point on their stats, we want to give them some subtracting ones first, I think. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use both of these. Two of these. Leave one for now. Uh, I only have one of those. I have two of those. Use one of those. Use this as well. All right. And then we'll go ahead and use this too. So the way you normally get around these uh, subtracting parts is you use it when they're already at zero because then it literally doesn't matter. So I need to bring my DS up closer to my face. There we go. You're both gonna get one of these. Eat up. Get that HP. Eat. Eat your weird triangles. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Look at them games. Then I'm gonna give you defense and you get another HP. That's not for you, that's for Shark Boy. Oh my goodness, you idiots don't know which shapes are yours. They're like toddlers. There you go. There we go. And you can have that. Yeah, now we're talking. Gonna play the game myself? Dude, sick. Play along. Do it. I have a crap ton of these. Like, holy cow. Look at all of this. Just, I don't, I don't care. Just eat up. Doesn't really matter who does it. Just get nom and... Om nom nom on all of your pyramids. You will eat your pyramids and you will like them. Two spectrums I really liked was Rydrake. There was a lion one. Oh, it's, uh, it's like Lyozor or something. They're like the, sort of like, after Como, they're like the two main ones, really. But uh, I don't think they're in this game. I think they were put in Beyond the Portals and then they return in Origins. They're really cool. Yeah, they all rush for the minerals. They're like, mine, my food. Get it before anyone else can. I don't have many of those. I have plenty of those. I have a lot of the greens. Uh, what do I really, I, I wanna up your attack stats more to be honest. That's what I'm most worried about. Leo Zar, that's it, thank you. Eat your darn shapes. Eat them up. You can give the Spectrobes nicknames? Yes, when you uh, when you awaken them from their fossils, you have to nickname them right then. I don't think you can change it after that. So I've been naming them all. I do wish there was a way I could just make them eat faster. I'm just gonna keep up in their attack. Can't stop me. Grab that, there you go. Ah. There you go. Look at these stats just rise. Oh, it's looking good. Brian is a hungry boy. Perfect. Level seven and level eight. I don't wanna buff you guys anymore. My first level 100 in origin was the weird pink tentacle plant. Dude, sick. I don't think I remember the exact one you're talking about, but I'm sure I'd recognize it if I saw it. Do I wanna buff you guys anymore? Let's look at what else we got. Which game is this? It's the first Spectrobes game, the original one. What else have we got? I do like Dragon Boy. I don't care too much about Como, but we do need to get him to evolve. Let's see here, what do I wanna give you guys? Just like a bunch of attack to start, probably. Like I said, I would like to get every Spectrobe's evolution by the end of this game if I could. So I'm gonna try to. I love little three-headed Hydra boy. He's so perfect in everything he does. Just look at how adorable he is. How could you not love him? My goodness, freaking Barter's HP is awful. Do you see that HP stat? That's terrible. Let's buff that. Drop all of the moons. Eat the moons, you fools. 
can get different colors of the spectrums by using the mic. You can? I didn't know that. How do you do that? It's going pretty good for me, Super Silver. How's it going for you, dude? How you doing? I didn't know you could get different colors. That's amazing. What a great game. Eat your heart out, shinies and Pokemon. Eat all your shapes. Eat them up. Get those, get those level ups. You deserve them. Should probably try to level up my main Spectrobes a little bit too by feeding them stuff. That would probably be a good idea. You need a cube to get different colors? I believe there's two other color swaps. Okay. I usually ignore cubes in my playthroughs, so that explains a lot as to how I never knew that. I was supposed to use some of these on my main party to make them stronger too, but I guess I've just decided to only use them on the Spectrobes that are in here. Why did you go all the way over there to eat his thing? Like, what's up with that? Whatever, it's fine. Keep making these gains. Do, do you eat that? Eat that, Orochi. Eat it! You'll eat your shapes and you'll like it. Whether you want to or not. Let's get... I can get that level up onto him. Then do that. Let's, yeah, let's do this. I just want to get you to get these two level ups real quick. I think we're good on leveling up for now. Can someone tell me the stats that I need on Grilda to uh, evolve it? Like how long it has to be in the incubator and all that? Same for Ryan and Masa. I want to use both of them, definitely. Pretty sure it's an option when Awakening Spectrobes as well. That or it was a function in Beyond the Portals. Might have just been in Beyond the Portals. What do I have in my team again? Right. All these dudes. I need more good green boys, because I don't really like... Spiking is cool, but I don't really like uh, Egg Boy. Ah, whatever. Bow. 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 Let's go to Nessa and see if we can find that pod. It's the row cube that you need to get. Okay. Thank you, Chad. Well, I'll keep digging up uh, cubes then, and eventually we'll get to do some color swaps, hopefully. All right, Gina, let's get the heck on up out of here. I want to go to Nessa if the game will allow it. Yeah, it will, it looks like. So, uh, not Area 2. We need to go to Area 3, I believe. Let me look at this picture in Discord. Dongo Pod needs one hour in the incubator, HP 200. Dongora needs four hours in HP 470. Got it, thank you. All right, let me see here. So, if I'm reading this map that I've been provided with correctly, we're at the ship, so what we do is we go down this way. There are gonna be a bunch of rocks in the middle of the area over here, and that's where, right here, I think, this should have a fossil option. Yeah, it does. So I think if I've read this right, there should be this fossil should have like a 40% chance of being the fossil I want, but it's an owl pod, which is not what I want. I think this is the area I need to be at. We can also pick up some more uh, minerals while we're here, which will be good. Remember explaining this game to people as Pokemon in space with fossils? That's about right. You know, there's, there might be a little more to it than that, but that's roughly the same idea, yeah. Give me my moon. You know how many moons I've been feeding to my the Hydra Dragon? I need more moons. Oh, is this a double thing? Yeah, it is. Moon and the pyramid. Perfect. Come here. You belong to me now. Jade Mineral. What was the other one? 
Uh, I think that was it. it was Dongo and Gilda. Gilda needs one hour in level 15. Grildan needs four hours in level 60. That's a little selfish of him. Hi, Crawl. Bye, Crawl. We might fight some Crawl just to get some, uh, a little bit of extra experience as we go here. I wonder if it's faster to go into the inventory and open the jetpack and jetpack back or to just walk back. Yeah, Moon Pyramid Power. There we go. You know what? Fight me. We haven't had any action in this, uh, this stream yet. Let's get a little bit of action going. Bring it on, punk. That didn't work as planned, as one might expect. Get him. There we go. Good damage, good damage. See you later, sucker. That did not do nearly as much damage as I anticipated it would. He's, he's standing right next to you. You're just gonna miss him like that? Ow! How dare you? What's my attack button again? Get punched. Still only one damage. Beautiful. That's not good. Get him. Now we're talking. I'm just gonna hit you with the meteors, if that's okay. That is the correct area. Thank you, Raptor. Get meteored on, son. They're all still alive. How did that happen? That's not nearly enough murder for my tastes. Oh, uh, that, yep, that was incredibly poorly timed by me. That was 100% on me. I messed that up something fierce. Take that. Dang it, I messed it up again. What am I doing? Get out of here. That AoE attack is weaker than your normal one, isn't it? I shouldn't have done that. Please get him. Okay, that time it worked in my favor. Finally. That time did not, obviously. Punch. Get him. That'll do it. Armed, what's up, dude? How you doing? When in doubt, meteor them out. What's up, Crimson? Good to see you, too. Ah, yes. Give me those level ups. Jack is up to level 12. Yo, when does Nagariyu evolve? How do I get him to his... Oh, I got the Super Serum. Whatever the heck that is. How do I get him to uh, max level? Completely forgot how weird it was to do combat in Spectrobes. Combat is honestly, like, the worst thing in this game. But I love so much of everything else. I love the character designs. I love the characters. I love the Spectrobes. I love the fossil digging. I love the designs of stuff. This is another grill pod, which I'm going to go ahead and get because I can, but it's still not the Donna pod that we need. So that's basically two coin flips we lost there. Good, just cleaning your swords. It, I don't, as soon as you said that, I, like, imagined you as Deathstroke with just, like, you got your sword out, you just got done fighting Batman, you're polishing off all the blood. Good sentence. Yo, Arms, we're, uh, we're very, very, very close to the day. We're finally going to meet up and uh, hit up PopCon. I'm super pumped to get to meet and play video games and go to the convention and get to cosplay as Joker. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Can't freaking wait. Nagariyu is 1.5 hours at level 48. Well, at least he doesn't have to stay in the incubator very long. I'm probably going to be using him a whole lot, so we'll get to level him up quick. Yeah, right after your stupid fluid dynamics test. Exactly. Hearing the word fossil all the time makes me think about fossil powder. Apparently, I apparently childhood me just missed out on something. Because it turns out a lot of people apparently played and really loved this fossil fighter series, but I never heard of it until chat brought it up. And they're like, what? You played Spectrobes, but not fossil fighters? I just never knew what the heck fossil fighters was. Kill up my boy Jack. Yeah, Beyond the Portals, uh, it's been way too long since I played Beyond the Portals. I can't remember the improvements they made, but from what I was told in last stream, it sounds like they fixed a lot of the issues and it's a lot more fun. So I look forward to getting to play it again. And Origins, I remember vividly because I beat it at least like six times. So its combat really, really is fantastic. Like combat is part of the main draw in Origins for me because it's so much fun. But uh, yeah, I agree. They definitely improved upon it. That's not the right one. Do, do, do. Ooh, this is uh this is a good mineral. I'm really glad that a bunch of minerals spawn next to where this uh fossil does. It gives us a good opportunity to build up uh, minerals as well, which just means easier leveling up for our boys. Come on, tear it apart, tear it apart. Give me what I want. All your fossils belong to me. Heard of Fossil Fighters and seen gameplay of it, but never actually played it myself. All I know is the people really enjoy it. Yeah, it's, I haven't seen any gameplay of it, but that's pretty much what I've 
gotten from it is a lot of other people really enjoy it, and that's all I really know. Like Fossil Powders basically plays like Spectrobes mixed with Pokemon. Might be worth looking into one day. I don't like playing games that people hold close to their hearts that I also don't hold close to my heart, though, because that normally leads to me potentially not liking it and then the internet being mad at me.